Today we're going to take a look, a closer look, at a uh, 1976 Schwinn Stingray. This is a flamboyant red Schwinn Stingray, factory original paint. It has the uh, Yum Yum serial code, serial number, so that's to make it a December of 76. In 76, uh, Schwinn started putting some date codes on the head badges. So this has got a date code of 3586. So that'd be the uh, 358th day of 1976. So we're probably looking at like December 23rd of 1976, which I think we're probably gonna make this one of the last stingrays produced in 76, that late in the year. Uh, this bike is well chronicled. Uh, the handlebars have a 76 stamp on them. The neck has a 76 stamp on it. The uh, crank has a December of 76 stamp on it. The pedals have 76 stamped on them, both the uh, right and left. You'll see all these uh, additional markings and uh, date codes. We have some pictures at the end of this video that shows up close of all that when the bike is taken apart. Uh, as far as the wheels go, the tires, we have a uh, West Wind Schwinn front tire. We have a Schwinn Stingray Knobby back tire. These tires look to be uh, original. This is a uh, Persons USA, uh, made in the USA, uh, Schwinn Tag Stingray seat. Uh, some people think these seats aren't original, but uh, in 75, 76, and 77, Schwinn started putting black seats on a lot of their bikes. Uh, we'll, we'll include a catalog picture so you can see an example of that at the end of this video. Uh, we got the matching Schwinn approved <coughs> uh, hand grips. Um, got the original decals on the top bar, chain, chain guard, quality sticker. These are, I replaced the, the darts, we had to replace the darts on the forks. Uh, the entire bike's been treated, any bare metal spots have been treated and cleared over with a uh, ultraviolet resistant clear coat so you're not going to have any problems. Uh, the paint looks really good for its age. Uh, there's not a lot of fading. It does have its typical scrapes and scratches, but the color held true to its original color. It's got all the correct reflectors on it. You got reflectors on both tires. You got the square on the front and the back and the reflector pedals. Okay, so we're going to look at a quick uh, mechanical workings of the bike and uh, then we'll take it down, we'll take it for a spin, and uh, any potential bidders, put them at a little more ease. All right, so let's take a look at that front wheel. So that is a uh, Schwinn approved stamped front hub. That's an S7 front wheel. Like I said, that's a West Wind tire on it. See it, that's really easy spinning there. And I'm just gonna spin this one by hand first, and then we'll work it with the crank. So this is an S2 back wheel. Uh, that's a Bendix 76 um, Mexico hub and brake on this back wheel, which, they, which is what they were using in 76. And you see both these are really easy spinning. Uh, no issues with these. This is going to be a good riding bike. Pedals are free. Everything's solid. Cranks in there good have any problems putting this bike back together. See that wheel will come to a rocking stop there. The chrome wall looks good on this bike. There's some typical chrome walls like we always have on the top of the handlebars and the top of the sissy bar where it was wrecked. All right, so we almost spin it one time with the crank. I'm gonna get it going and I'm gonna bring it to a stop to show the brakes. I'll go again and I'm gonna let it spin. Now some of the flaws beside the ones we meant, mentioned with the paint, the, the tires are dry rotted. Well they're not, I wouldn't say they're dry rotted, but they are cracking. And you can see it on this back wheel. It's got to, but it is original tire, so I didn't I was gonna leave that up to the next owner whether he wanted to change that tire or not. Well since it was original tire. 
No matter if you're going to ride it a lot, you probably want to replace that tire. But this bike was so well chronicled, I thought this might be one that's just going to be a collector. Someone who's looking for a, an all original 76. This would probably fit into what they're looking for. This right pedal is uh, bent slightly. You can feel it when uh, putting the pedal on or taking the pedal off. But uh, once the pedal's on and all the way in place, and when you ride it, uh, it's a lot less noticeable. You don't really notice it once it's on. We've got the, uh, you know, all the correct hardware. It's got the cue bolts, the S bolts on the seat post, correct uh, hardware for the chain guard. So we got a real original bike here, and uh, we're going to chronicle some of that at the end of this video. Show some additional pictures of uh, what we're talking about with all the date codes. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down. I'm going to take it for a quick spin, and uh, you can see the bike on the street with some weight on it. And uh, that's it. Thank you. All right, so we got the bike out the stand. I'm going to take it for a quick ride. Uh, it, it rides really well. It's a really smooth riding bike. Uh, the mechanical working of the bike's great. The only thing I'd be concerned about is if someone's going to get this as a daily rider is the, uh, the tires. Uh, if I was going to use it and ride it or give it to a kid, I would probably take the original tires off, save those for display, and find you some uh, nice reproduction tires so there'd be no worries. Right. But if it's going to go in someone's uh, living room as a piece of art, let's leave the tires on there. Let's take it for a quick ride. Let's see how it goes.